The only thing that we're aware of that can compromise the Iron Dome is a lack of ammunition. And there's no indication that it has a lack of ammunition at the moment. Generally, the stocks are high in anticipation of events like this. The United States supplies more ammunition as required for Israel. I think it goes without saying at the moment that those, that those flows of ammunition will be, will be ready, will be coming. That's the commitment we heard from President Biden. The way the system works, the system it works across the country. The Iron Domes, wherever they are on the ground, like the one we saw firing out there, are interlocked with other Iron Dome firing systems throughout the country. When missiles are fired from Gaza, the system reads, detects where the missiles are precisely coming from and where they're calculated to be going. And the nearest and best available Iron Dome system fires off to intercept those Hamas rockets as they come into Israeli territory. That's what we're witnessing right now. This is the defensive missile system taken off. The sirens were going off around here. Um, and you can see, I can see black smoke rising just to the left of uh, the Iron Dome. That's new black smoke. Black smoke often indicates an impact. We don't know that right now. But we have seen at least several dozen of these interceptor rockets, the Iron Dome, taking off here. The sirens have gone off. I'm looking down the highway. The traffic stopped here. Everyone is getting out of their vehicles to find a safe space to hide. And you're hearing the, the booms there of uh, the intercepts that are happening.